we have these games to thank for the incredible industry we have today. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 most ambitious video games. One of the core things of Fable is the ability to be good or evil. For this list, we take a look at games that tried gameplay elements or features that had not been attempted on such a scale or had never been done before. The end results of that ambition and financial investment may or not have been very good, but that's no matter here, as the vision is what counts on this list. We got rules around here. Number 10, The Mass Effect Trilogy. Covering topics and issues that are pertinent in our modern day society, this third person sci-fi epic somehow manages to be an adventure you care about while taking place in an enormous setting that is ostensibly foreign to all of us. The benefits of war and intergalactic exploration are all prominent themes in a branching story that plays out over three interconnected games. Don't turn your back on me, Shepard. I made you, I brought you back from the dead. Each decision you make has an effect, or <clears throat> mass effect, on how the tale plays out for a tailored continuity full of characters that you'll hate with a passion or love to the end of the galaxy. Although the Star Child ending did draw considerable fan condemnation, Bioware's vision for a gradually unfolding space drama is hard to beat. Number 9, Fable. A boy dreaming of greatness, but one day being a hero. Any game with Peter Molyneux attached to it will inevitably be accompanied by a large helping of hype from the famed developer, and this RPG from Lionhead Studios was perhaps the most notorious instance of Molyneux's slippery tongue. It's not a bad game, far above average in fact, but nowhere near his claims of the best game ever, which is just one assertion he'd later publicly apologize for. Well, there are so many different events that can happen in that one. The combat system was novel and the graphics truly outstanding, yet promised features like being able to have kids and a wholly reactive world where your decisions leave an eternal butterfly effect were completely absent. These ideas were great in theory and were even in development, yet the reality was incredibly different to Molyneux's fantasies. Hello, little brother. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. Number 8, Star Fox. <laughs> Known as Star Wing in Europe, the jump from 2D to 3D is one of the greatest progressions in the industry, and this rail shooter, while not the first 3D game ever, gave mainstream players an early look at the future. Using Argonaut Software's Super FX chip to push the SNES to its limits, Nintendo created a game guided by Shigeru Miyamoto's seat of his pants innovation. Revolutionary polygonal graphics were backed up by gameplay that gave you the flexibility to blast a path of your choice to the final boss, Andros. 2D games of the time were still easier on the eye, but the sheer technological breakthrough alone was enough to sell 4 million copies around the world. Number 7, The Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall. Oh. The numbers that make up Bethesda's RPG are immensely intimidating. 15,000 towns and 750 NPCs, all contained within 62,000 square miles of randomly generated expanse. For 1996, that scale is awe-inspiring, but that doesn't necessarily mean it makes for a better experience than others in the genre. As you might expect, there are large periods of nothingness, and each repetitive landscape is incredibly buggy, meaning you'll have to save a lot. Bethesda learnt from those shortcomings, however, and with every subsequent handcrafted Elder Scrolls map being smaller but with greater density and content. Daggerfall might not have been ideal, hardcore RPGers may disagree though, yet without it, Bethesda's RPG recipe might not have been perfected in later titles like Morrowind or Skyrim. Get lost, friend. Number 6, Metal Gear Solid 5: The Phantom Pain. Beginning with the radically ambitious Metal Gear Solid, visionary developer Hideo Kojima has built a universe that is bafflingly complex, and this $80 million monster was meant to be the pinnacle of his life's work so far. Critics loved the final game's near-perfect stealth and combat mechanics, but there was a nagging feeling that something was missing, like, you know, an ending, which was probably stemming from Kojima Productions' separation from Konami. Kojima himself said he was worried that there was too much content in the game, but he likely didn't expect Konami to axe key plot points like Mission 51 and the Data Mind Chapter 3. This left many wondering what else of Kojima's concept had been cut, possibly just waiting to be discovered. Number 5, 
No Man's Sky. Exploring and surviving in deep space is the biggest challenge facing the human race, and the prospect of being able to experience that on your couch was threatening to blow every gamer out of the water. By channeling his inner Peter Molyneux, Hello Games founder Sean Murray went all out promising features for their procedurally generated mammoth. As we all know now, many of those features never materialized, as players quickly found it was more resource grind and less epic exploration of the intergalactic wilderness. Even if Hello initially overestimated their development ability, future updates could deliver the gameplay depth and longevity we all envisioned, finally making their 18 quintillion planet strong universe more than a demonstration of monstrous size. Seriously, where are my crashed frigates and giant snakes? Number 4, Final Fantasy VII. This legendary RPG is one of those games whose reputation and legacy spans generations. Its CG cutscenes and unprecedented plot scale made it the beginning of a new cinematic era in gaming. Squaresoft had ambitions to finally convincingly penetrate the western market, and their 3-disc $45 million PS1 game was bombastically promoted outside of Japan on almost any platform you can think of. Some old school gamers felt gameplay elements paled to previous Final Fantasy installments, but this was a necessary streamlining to welcome in their new target audience. Absorbing narrative, technological achievements, and accessibility was, in a first time for the series, brought together in an almost perfect 3D package, rightly earning its status as a benchmark in gaming history. Number 3, Spore. If you're looking for a comparison of how great the hype was around this life simulation title spanning various genres, think of it as the No Man's Sky for 2008. In the few years preceding its release, players were drip-fed demos and details about a single-celled organism's journey to complex life, to civilization, to spacefaring race. <laughs> players were expecting gameplay where each alteration you made would impact your ability, yet somewhere along the line, Will Wright's concept was dumbed down and every detail mere cosmetic fluff in an overly cute version of Evolution. Critics were still impressed with the game's breadth, but for the average gamer, it'll be remembered as the definitive nightmare fuel simulator. Number 2, Shenmue. Brian? Brian? Who's Nozomi? Uh... Shenmue on Dreamcast, rated T for team. Sega were so ambitious with Shenmue that they even coined a new genre in making it, as a quote, fully reactive eyes entertainment game, it brought a scary sense of realism. Gamers of the era had experienced enormous fantasy worlds, but they had never been part of an actual virtual community with a realistic passage of time and dynamic weather effects. Kurita-san. Yo, how are ya? For many, it captured the mundanity of every life a bit too well, and without narrative guidance, players were almost stifled by the freedom they were afforded. In hindsight, you can see how its quick time events and interactivity shaped future games, probably influencing our number one pick. But sadly for Sega and their $70 million investment, it bombed at retail for being such a pioneer. She's so tiny, but already an orphan. Before we unveil our top pick, let's have a look at some honorable mentions. Number 1, Grand Theft Auto 3. This is hit radio love medias. Seemingly a culmination of every gaming innovation that had come before it, GTA's first ever 3D title changed what was conceivably possible with one enormous world. While Shenmue flirted with greatness, it was realistic to a fault and is totally surpassed by the popular appeal contained within the satire laden Liberty City. Choice is at the heart of Rockstar's creation. If you want to go on a tank rampage and totally ignore the main, non-linear story, you can. You decide what sort of mobster you want to be. GTA V has again raised the bar for open world perfection, but its predecessor set the standard for 21st century sandbox games and inspired countless imitators, none of whom have yet to truly challenge GTA's free roaming supremacy.
do you agree with our list? Which game's technical achievements keep you astounded today? For more top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Here we go!